Man here with another 4090 cable video. So one of the questions I get, I've been getting a lot lately, is how many individual PCIe cables do I need to plug into the 4-pin adapter? And I thought my last video covered that, but I'm not sure if I actually showed you guys how to install it, so I want to make a quick video on it. Now I'm using my 4090 gaming PC that's in my living room. Uh, now I'm honestly a mutant and I wanted to be able to sit on my couch and play games and I hate consoles now so I just said I'll build a 4090 so it's basically just a 4090 on a test bench with a uh, Strix B550 motherboard a 5900X and 16 gigs of RAM hooked up to this EVGA 650 watt power supply because a case wouldn't fit where I wanted to shove it let's get to it so basically as I've said before you only need an 850 watt power supply to power a 4090 and run it at full tilt just fine they are not worth overclocking, in my humble opinion. Um, I have two. I've never over bothered overclocking any of them, and they're good. So, if you only need, if you only plan on um, playing it gaming normally, not overclocking, it doesn't matter what power supply you use, whether it's an 850 or a 1600. You only need to connect three of the four, uh, three of the four PCIe slots on this cable. So you always want to attach these before you plug the the cable into the GPU. This EVGA 850 watt has four VGA slots. Now I could theoretically plug all four in if I want, but there's no reason to. Uh, it won't be able to overclock, and when you only plug in three, it's actually impossible for it to draw over 100% power anyway. So, you know, I, I figured why not just use three? So, we've got three individual... VG, uh, PC, VGA cables. Now one, whether they have one six pin or eight pin or two of them, it honestly doesn't matter. It is one of these to one of these because the 4090 draws, <laughs> draws about 400 watts of power under full load uh, ish, give or take. And these cables are only rated for I think it's 250. Obviously, I'm just going off the cuff, but I will post the gra I will post the image um, when I go to edit this video, and you'll see it. So you do not want to take two of these to two of these, or you will probably burn these out, and I would not take the risk. So whether it has two or one, it's still one to one. So as you can see here, we've got three different six to eight pin VGA cables. Now let's get them assembled. All right, see here, I do not have the fourth plugged in. It's not needed. I could do it, but there's no reason. And like I said, honestly, three is, I prefer three because it, it won't even let you, like it's it's not possible to draw over 100% power with three. So I actually honestly just prefer not plugging in that fourth no matter what, just to be safe. Uh, now also, I prefer to plug it into not the last eight pin but the second to last one so it's easier just to zip tie these together but look as you can see we've got the first one going to one vga slot on the power supply second one going into the second and the third one going into the third now this is for everybody now this video applies to everybody that doesn't want to buy a cable mod plug that doesn't want to buy anything else because the 49 is already expensive and just wants to use the adapter now like i said i've been using this pc for Three months now, just fine. It works exactly the same as my 390 desktop with a VG with a cable mod cable. There is literally no difference. So for people who don't want to spend any more money, this is the way to go. Again, I'm using an older 850 watt power supply. It's just a gold rated EVGA, no problems. And now once you feel like you have this properly set up, you want to go ahead and zip tie everything or or do your cable management first before you plug it in so i'm going to go do that right now as as you can see everything has been rewired up and bundled up i need to basically when the pc is is um put on my mantle it looks like this <laughs> uh you know I'm, I'm from the firm believer that cases are becoming obsolete between us so anyway um the final step you've got to do when everything is fully wired in is plug this in now, I've probably unplugged it and plugged it more times than I should, but I'm okay with it. So, you got to listen for the click. Ready? Did you guys hear that? It clicked. It's in there safe and it's in there good. Now, uh, my bend is okay. 
you know, it's it's facing up. I'm okay. I'm okay with the bend. As you can see right here. Anyway, I hope this helped. Please like and subscribe. I am so very close to becoming a YouTube partner. I just need a few more subs. So it would really help me if you guys sub and I can get a lot more content out. Again, I really hope this answered anybody's questions about how to properly install the 4090 using the standard cable. Again, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. I know your time is valuable. So thank you for spending it with me. Crew man out.